Hello YouTube friends. This is my favorite flashlight. It costs very little and has a lot of features. It can emit bright light of different colors and intensities and is very compact. It has a magnet on the back and you can use it as a keychain. In short, a perfect gadget for any occasion. Unfortunately, I didn't use it for a long time and it stopped working. In this video I will explain how I rescued this little flashlight. While I start disassembling the flashlight, I need to tell you three important things. 1. This is not a sponsored video. This is just my old flashlight that I bought two years ago for a few bucks. 2. Throughout the video you will see many mistakes and unprofessional things that led me to the solution of the problem. So get to the end to understand the process and draw your own personal conclusions. 3. Follow my YouTube channel, subscribe to my Telegram channel and all my profiles so I can get rich and famous and quit my shitty job and make content for you all day long. Yuppie! Here is the board. On this side are four SMD LEDs, white, red, blue and ultraviolet. On the other side is the main LED which is much bigger and more powerful than the others. At first glance the board seems to be in very good condition. It is free of oxidation or burns. The battery is also in good condition and has no bulges. The first test I want to do is to connect the board directly to the power supply to see if the problem is with the board or the battery. I dolder the battery. Now I have to solder two pins on the board that will allow me to use the power supply's connectors. Done. Now I set the power supply to 4.2 volts and connect it to the board. No. I did a bad soldering and now I have to do it again. No. The soldering was also bad. Guys please don't be like me, always try to do professional soldering without rushing. Good news! The board works. All modes seem to work fine. Yippee! Now I'm sure the problem is the battery. When I look closely at the battery, I don't see any information. I see neither the model nor the capacity of the battery. I tried to compare this battery with others I cannibalized from disposable electronic cigarettes. Unfortunately, they are too big compared to the original. Surely replacing the battery would make the flashlight work again, but I want to use the original case, so I will try to fix the original battery. The most logical thing to do now is to try to charge the battery. This is nothing more than a TP4056 module slightly modified to have a very low maximum charge current. I covered this topic in a video a few months ago. I soldered the battery contacts directly to the module for a more effective connection. Connecting the power supply to 5 volts does not seem to get the TP4056 to charge the battery, in fact on the screen the current is only 7 milliamps. Damn it! I forgot to turn on the camera and lost part of the video. In short, I pulled out the little battery protection board and it seems to be in good condition. The voltage is about 2.2 volts. Very low for a lithium battery. If 
By bypassing the protective circuit again, I cannot charge the battery. Two hours later. After many attempts, how is it possible that I cannot charge the battery? The answer is simple. The voltage is too low and the charger's over-discharge protection does not allow us to charge the battery. There is a method to save this battery, but I warn you that it could be potentially dangerous. In a previous video I talked about trickle charging, which is a method of charging nickel metal hydride in nickel cadmium batteries at very low current. For lithium batteries it is potentially dangerous, but I think if I do it for a few minutes nothing serious will happen. Just enough time to raise the battery voltage a bit. The process is very simple. I set the power supply to 4.1 volts with a maximum current of 20 milliamps. Really a very low current. Now just connect the wires from the power supply to the battery after the protection board. As you can see, the battery is charging at 17 milliamps. Let's hope nothing explodes. It is now 5.22 p.m. Let's see what happens in a few minutes. It has been exactly 10 minutes. The battery voltage is very close to 3 volts and it seems to me that nothing has exploded. We try to plug in our TP4056. Fantastic! <laughs> it is now charging at an impressive 120 milliamps. We did it! Our battery is working again. It is time to solder the battery to the board. Connecting the USB cable to the board turns on the LED, indicating that the battery is charging. Yippee! While I'm reassembling everything, I want to remind you that if you like the video, you can support me in many ways, like following my YouTube channel and all my profiles, or by clicking on the links in the description. It's very important because I definitely need to quit my crappy job and make content for you all day long. Okay. Okay. Now I don't know what to say, so I'll start a random techno song with random videos that I didn't put in the final edit. Bye bye. <laughs>